I'm Bill O'Neill, and um, I've lived in Red Hook since I was born here on May 16th, 1938. Very proud of that fact. My family bought what was known as a Crockwell farm, just north of the village. Life was a little bit different in those days. My father commuted to his job. He was a lithographer in Brooklyn. And my mother ran the farm. I went to law school, and in 63, I graduated. I was on the same page with Richard Nixon in the, uh, <laughs> in the graduate book from Duke Law School. I went then into the FBI as a special agent. In those days, from 1963 to 71, it was pretty much the height of the civil rights era. The FBI was really one of the few agencies that was out there trying to protect the black communities. When I came back to Red Hook in 1971, I got a job as an assistant district attorney in the Dutchess County DA's office. My family farm, from the time that I came back after government service, had become a development. The farm was no longer. You took over from your father. Who's going to take over for you? No one. No one. We're going to have to sell it. You're going to just sell it? Mm-hmm. Do you think that we're looking at the last generation of farmers? Yeah, it's got to be. It's going to be developed. I had chosen to get involved in local government. There's no question in the town of Red Hook that our forefathers had always felt that the rural character should be maintained. My concern really was holding the line on development. Otherwise, we'd get gobbled up like so many other areas. We didn't just speak about it, we took action. In the beginning, there were huge arguments and we had public hearings. There were some people that I had grown up with in Reddick wouldn't speak to me afterwards. They all looked at it as an illegal tax. And now, as successful as it has been, now kind of everybody wants to take credit for it. A lot of really good farmland has been protected. West Curly Corners Road, Kalina's Farm, the Kaseki Farms, Echo Valley. We don't want to lose that. We have to still be very vigilant because people who want to take advantage of a community like Red Hook, they're out there. If you don't back off and you keep your focus, it will get done. That, I think, is the lesson to learn from uh, this, this Red Hook experience. <laughs>